Well, our fall vegetables are looking pretty good considering all the hot weather that we had earlier in the fall season. And by the time this show airs, we'll be harvesting some zucchini squash and definitely some radishes. But one thing that we want to talk to you about right now is a gardening chore that should be done this time of year to help you prepare for the upcoming growing season next year. And that is taking a soil sample. A lot of us wait until the last minute and we really should be taking the soil sample during the fall because it takes several months for any lime or phosphorus or potassium to be activated for us to get any benefit from it. And you've heard several times on Oklahoma Gardening different techniques about taking soil samples, but we want to re-emphasize those again. You can actually use a trowel if that's the only equipment that you have or the shovel like you saw me bring in. But available through your county extension office is a soil probe similar to this that you should be able to check out. This is a nice handy stainless steel probe that makes it real nice and convenient to take your soil samples. Or if you want to make one yourself you can just use some PVC pipe like we've got here. We put on a T and we've marked the pipe at six inches because that's the depth that we want to take our soil sample. And then if you'll notice at the end, we've made a sharp point to make it a little bit easier in some of our soil to take the sample. We're going to collect a sample here in our raised bed and we're going to use a plastic container. You can use a paper sack. Try to stay away from a metal container though if you're going to take any micronutrients for your test but just go randomly at the six inch level. And we got a good little rain last night, so our soil is quite wet. But we've got a dowel that we use to push out some of the soil. And we've got one sample, and we just go 10 to 15 places throughout the garden spot. And we'll continue to take those samples until we get enough to fill out the little bag that the soil testing lab provides at the county extension office. Now because our samples are so wet, it's a good idea to let those samples dry out a little bit. And then once they're dried out, put them in the bag, and again you can do this ahead of time at home or take it to the extension office and they'll help you fill out the bag. But make sure you check the different categories Make sure you keep track of which samples that you're going to send in. And keep in mind that there is a charge to send in a sample. And that depends upon whether or not you're going to use a complete one or micronutrients. And all of those things can be explained at your extension office. But again, we want to emphasize this is the time of year to take that sample. Now once you've got a soil probe made up like this, there's other uses for them as well. And we're going to walk over here and show you another good practice to use with the soil probe. A lot of times in our lawn we may have an area that doesn't drain well or just seems to be a little bit uh, lacking in vigor and doesn't perform for us. And a soil probe is a real good thing to use where you can go down several inches and see how compacted your soil might be. You may be able to go down eight or nine or ten inches even and you might find debris and all kinds of things in that sample. So a soil probe is also real nice to use to find out what's underneath the ground in some of those troubled areas. Now on your soil test, it can take anywhere from a couple of weeks to maybe three weeks to get those results back. And again, it's best to go through your county extension office and a lot of us have a tendency to put on 10, 20, 10 and lime year after year and we may not be needing to do that and that's why it's real important to take the test because if we get our phosphorus build up or our lime or our pH too high we may be actually doing more harm plus we're spending some unwanted dollars that we really don't need so I can't emphasize enough to take those soil samples we're going to take samples in each of our raised beds we're going to go to our fruit orchard and take samples there as well as our lawn, so we'll know what we've got this time of year and what we should do for the growing season. Now a lot of us are curious as to what kind of soil we have, whether it might be sandy soil, loam soil, or clay. 
And it's pretty obvious here in Stillwater that our soil has a large component of clay. And that's why we keep trying to add organic matter so it will drain a little bit better. But one quick little remedy for you in determining what your soil type is, is to just take a quart jar, fill it about three quarters full of water, add a little bit of dishwashing detergent, and this will actually act as a surfactant to help break up the particles of the soil. What we're going to do then is collect some soil that we've already taken from one of the beds, make sure that any debris is taken out of it and that all the clumps are broken up. And we'll just pour this soil in our jar here and we'll fill that just about as full as we can get it to allow enough room for us to continue to shake the jar around. And again, this is going to help us determine what type of soil or soil texture that we have. And what you want to do is make sure you shake up the soil real well for several minutes and just keep shaking that. And what we do is we'll find out which particles are heavier and will fall to the bottom. And as we shake that up, we want to sit it down for about 40 seconds and the sand particles will actually be the first particles to fall on the bottom. And this is the hardest part for us to tell. But after you shake it, and you may have to do it several times, you'll see the sand starting to settle. And we've got a nice line right here of our sand. We want to measure that and find out what percentage that is. And we'll set the jar down and in about four hours we'll come back and we'll check and see where the other line forms and that would be our silt and then about a day, couple of days, we'll check and the clay will be on the top and we should be able to see three extinct or distinct lines to determine which our particle sizes are. So our sand line again is right here. About four hours, we'll check again for silt and clay is the lightest particles on the top. Now after we've calculated the percentages, it should add up to about 100%. And we have a nice little chart here that's available at your county extension office or by sending a self-addressed stamped envelope to Oklahoma Gardening. And it tells you the same procedure that we just went over as well as a diagram to figure out which type of soil that you have. So in about two days, we'll know what kind of soil type we have and then we'll have a better idea what we're working with, how much more organic matter we want to add in addition to taking the soil test, which we'll get back in a couple of weeks. So again, let me encourage you to do a soil test this time of year and keep in mind some of the handy tools that you can use to collect your soil and some of the other uses. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.